Fink has broken out again. Now he's set on row rage and mayhem. Wouldn't know where to begin. See it coming from beginning to end. Better stay out his way. Thinks he owns the road. Who's to argue that? Things illegal to describe it mildly. He's going gone wildly. Third, it looks like they are telling us he's yellow. Still stay away from his teeth. One of those animals we'd like to splatter. Don't want to wind beneath. Weighs 300 pounds without his motorcycle. More with leather. You got it. He's bad news. Stay off the road altogether. Finally have the road to yourself. Nothing but the roar of your engine. Stretching out to the horizon as far as the eye can see you mentioned. Getting there's easy if nobody gets in the way. If they do they'll pay. Who needs seat belts it's a hot rod. No license, bad attitudes say. All right, that's the picture and give us more. Go ahead and bring it on. Move it, man. Then it's gone. Four gears and a 409 all along. Straight pipes and no exhaust. Just go and lay out there in the road. Give it some gas. Burn rubber and run over all of them like a toad. That is far gone. Lone wolf and the highway screaming on burned rubber. And you see it's coming like the cravings for a high and a new number. Way out in a desert passing cactus like they are standing still. Knowing that the object of your driving is not so much skill as to kill. What did you hit an armadillo? It went on did not stop. But in the road. At night under this light driving gets pretty difficult in sleep mode. Hope it wasn't a cow that it hurt. Everywhere you go in the mountains. Up and down the icy highways on old tires what one encounters. Holy zap Batman it's old Mr. Natural Bob Crumb. We was in a sane outfit. Comics I think it was. 68 perhaps. Still alive from what I get. That's old for a cartoonist. It ain't Disney but I like the style. Counterculture activist. Satire everyone it relate to make you smile. One more of the same. Poster graffiti done of paper and pasted on the internet. People like their artistic expression. Where it can be seen it's set. Better than private property. Anyone could stamp it as copyright. Though it's sole forgery. Not for money. Only as pleasant sight. Animate a little bit. Copy paste with paint. Make it move around and dance. You got something better to do. Move under it around perchance. It's only going to settle in the same place. No need to even try. Good lord you think you're getting something healthy for it, goodbye. Insomnia again, haven't slept in days. You start to go crazy without sleep. Then you suddenly collapse. No it's coming. Happened in the past. Out for ten minutes then you're wide awake. It's irritating too. We need our seclusion to rest. Are there threatening things around you? Pop art animation and an old color picture tube. More copycat work. Conquering boredom in an unclassical manner. Adding motion a quirk. It blinks and kind of laughs. Two or three frames run forward and back. Format changes it from Twitter post to a movie. Plots are what it lacks. More New York in the mid-1900s culture of art and films. Andy Warhol media for any purpose is anyone's guess. Artistic rebuilds. In a normal world no one has time for this. It's value, nostalgic guilds. One must admit it requires concentration and organization skills. Enough with the funny glasses. Now slow them down so the color blends. A cinematic, cinnamon effect. Like some cousin on mom's side depends. Cute teen, a girl with kaleidoscope eyes. Appears by a fountain. Where flowers grow incredibly high. No more of the beetles or about them. There is Andy, reminds me of an old friend Tim who I knew in the army. Many people like it. 
not a real item. An original would not harm me. Helps on the way. Thank God I know it. Weather's turning to spring. That would be straight over in Asia. No rubbing elbows with elite to bring. Remnants remain of, of achievements. Most left to ruin effects of time. Like ourselves forgotten and long gone once we pass on. A past mind. Will it ever come back? Do we exist elsewhere? It's doubtful just okay. Like iron and rust all turn to dust. Here he's remembered today. Great difference between what is required and that which is enjoyable. Contracted or commissioned work is assignment to those employable. Then you don't get to do as you like. More so what is compulsory. Art is a pleasure when voluntary. We don't enjoy being ordered, in summary. Pull her apart and put it together. The look is a matter of rearrangement. So move some of the body parts around a bit. To display our arrangement. This is fun because we can step outside of everyday, ordinary realism. Mundane is just commonplace. Accepted is bland. And so not him. Perk parts that simply go anywhere. Expressions of freedom you guess. That may be correct. Though in reality it is not. Be honest, it's a real mess. People paid for that. Some botched surgery or something, millions. Oh but it's Picasso. All the money spent on his work says so. Must wonder at those successes in their own time. Given much freedom. Not everyone copes well with it. Some driven crazy. Others need some. Knocked about in this case. Because normal's nothing. Who'd look at it? Out of place and then we see an oddity. Difference is better, a bit. It's a bunch of bull Pablo. But you can see that he enjoys evading actuality. Most of his work. But not all of it. Actually he was too schooled in formality. No one likes having to be perfectly correct. In instances we might. In final proof or convictions one must become precise. Sherman, Peabody and the Wayback Machine. Everyone should own one. Set your dial to a year. Walk through a door and you are there. What fun. Bingo it is back in history. You can talk to every famous person then. Change the future perhaps. There will always be a consequence when. So this is how it's done. Simply run in reverse. Walk very slowly backward. That seems easy enough. How they return to the present seems awkward. Just turn the movie reels around you see. Course remember to rewind. A dog with bow tie and glasses who sounds like a scientific mind. Another way is to flip frames horizontally. See Sherman in a mirror. Life in a parallel universe of anti-characters seems even clearer. Always good having a boy to explain it to. Teach them as handy assistants. Some can even be taught to do tricks. Makes life an easy existence. Here we go again with the flipped frames moving in reverse to start. Think of it as a reflective retrospection. Every event in history played its part. Now Sherman hasn't learned everything Peabody taught him. By walking through the machine's doors in converse. How it's with them. So simple a dog could do it. Not just any dog however, Mr. Peabody. In the process of logic and understanding animal intelligence, probably. Time dilation makes sense into reference frames. Reversal not possible. By the standard model of physics anyway. At least improbable. Rick Cowabunga, Griffin, Murphy, Surfer Magazine, in the 60s. Long hair, baggies, dark tan. Iconic teenage beach crowd, mostly. Much to say about it except it's stylish. Beginning with surfing. Not anything new. Only that it rose to gain popularity. Started an industry being. Feels like rigor mortis setting in. Can't sit arm stiff or that sensation. Why didn't it work like we had planned it? Perfectly correct the fixation. Because we're human and not flawless. Who cares if it rhymes? Does it convey any meaning that's helpful in cures or solving crimes? Cause personally we don't give a crap. So who made you next to God? It may even be. That one was. JC it would be. Given approval, nod. Standing over the centuries it has. No one's been able to take it down. There are those who'd like to. Don't turn your back on it and frown. Blending adds meaning to life. Symbolizations won't rinse away. Memory lost, nice to have reference. In futures it has a place to stay. 
Writing does not always define intelligence. In some cases quite the opposite. People thought you were dull till opened your mouth to confirm it. Many of us would like to go away. Or stay gone. Not to return to reality. Facing life is frightening. But we must. For the purpose of survival we. If but for one more attempt at a pleasant state of mind to maintain. Or get ahead in order to have time to relax. A vacation to gain. In order we offset or withstand things, often a fight comes necessary. If it may be avoided work around it, duck under or over stress is very. Take things in a way they may be interpreted as humorous and smile. It makes life enjoyable and far less torment. Good things take a while. Life doesn't have to be painless we make it that way. Often our own fault. Think back to what could have become avoided. Reason before assault. Alertness to the total circumstance. Like when driving, you don't see. Around corners, we can't look through drivers instantaneously. It's in front but not plain view to you. Interpret what they witness. From behind it's hard to do. Eye contact's helpful if you mean business. Turning at an intersection. Guessing direction of one's tires. When drivers signal then turn the opposite direction. Like guessing liars, what they try to do, if it is law enforcement that gives an excuse. One long party at government expense, it could be for the same use. Level a playing field, we're all reading the same set of rules without wars. Every place you go, it'd be easier to just make it legal in stores. First issue is medical, longevity, quality of life, what are at stake. One way or other we trade health for wealth, no matter what you make. Being said, can't spend it dead, written in hieroglyphs on tomb walls. Is there reason to go there at all? Eternal virtual existence calls. Set of rules to stay alive. Ordered life is complexity, hard to maintain. Keep it simple, carbon bonded with oxygen, hydrogen and nitrogen, name. Mostly us and what we are. Consistent with our detectable elements, life we recognize on Earth, seen in our biosphere as developments, you would think mankind to do something helpful and purposeful. If it doesn't help friends or get rid of enemies, does it seem useful? Eight protons and neutrons, six electrons in an orbital two in another, atomic number eight, not guns. Over a fifth the air we breathe is oxygen. Most appears to be created in biological processes of photosynthesis. Oxygen and underwater byproduct in stromatolites or cyanobacteria is single cells linked together forming complex chains, games of chance, combinations of linking that took a billion years to solve and enhance, a boring billion is truly that, by hit or miss game of covalent orbitals, water to remain in liquid state that length of time limit details, frighteningly odd, for evolution to occur, lending to our peculiar rarity. Only for another planet like ours, one reachable is a scarcity. Don't expect to find a place in human lifetimes. I'd be elated proven wrong. Comparison being a grain of dust next to our entire world is the ratio long. Immensity can describe the detectable universe vastness. Another rock like ours out there. It will be found with no fastness. Scatterbrained ain't a word for it. Like no brain closer to what it fit. Talk about a wasted lifetime, so you completely went and squandered it, it'd work, surprisingly what we call it, the most hated four letter word, next to cursing, how we'd spend entire lives I have heard, played be different, think a sport you'd enjoy, be professional, golf or ping pong, just have fun, there are only a handful, make a living at what you love, everyone else is stuck with alternates, Face it, to get fed and have a place to sleep it's a matter of what one tolerates. Survival, staying alive one thing, living well the other, why bother? In order to get more of what you want added to necessity another, it'll kill you. Catering to desire, it happens to be best, hard to walk away from. Lifestyles that are enjoyable as opposed to selfless become. Raising families become life's biggest challenge, transition to adulthood. Birth and death are difficult to face, both inevitable. Witness, one should. You can't have experienced one without the other. You would not be alive.
We recall the event, remembering infancy, hard to strive. We went through it, some we simply suppressed due to unpleasantness. Trauma, occurring in young age, becomes thought avoided if you digress. We tell ourselves to don't look back. The memory remains though avoided. Psychoanalysis, like performing surgery on you yourself, it's exploited. We need to accept life's inconsistency. We anticipate, never get it correct. Off by matters of degree. Variations in a state. Looking to foresee the next. You may have it. Card an opponent needs to fill a straight. They may need it. Slip it under your sleeve. Raise, don't debate. If you are good at cheating. Least have the conscience who you steal from. Landlord to government makes no difference except religiously to some. To say one does not exist is to deny historical fact. Forbidden knowledge then. Why it would become available to some but not other men. For the good of all men and women. Advancement and well-being, preserve. Reasons to literally, change history, when truth's suppression we deserve. That boils down to knowledge sources and their control. Or its destruction. Throwing things away is senseless, as any valued whole. Simply erase religion. As useful archaeological information. It'd be tragic. Purging all reference to an author's name was common practice in hieroglyphics. They simply knock that cartouche off with chisels. Where one pharaoh was disliked. That an enderlingly old idea, fizzles. Keep chipping till there's a planet. Size of Earth, where we're born. Don't get big-headed. Someone will want it. Get camouflaged one. Meaningless cliché, that which it may imply. Simply put, keep it simple. Not so simple, however that it loses its meaning. Rec was a symbol. Back to our reference as code in sequence, 8 up or down. Combined in 255 characters like cartouches or a noun. A long alphabet if you were to define it that way. Call it a set of syllables. Hypertext instructions tag lists exist that way, each individual's. Those are eight ones in a row, 255. Divide by two. Use integer quotient obtained in this step as dividend in the next step too. Repeat the process until the quotient becomes zero. Write the remainder from bottom to top in the reverse order. A no-brainer. Help offered deciphering hieroglyphs in ancient Greek using the Rosetta Stone. It decrees peace after a rebellion during Ptolemy IV it's known. Osiris hears the god of fertility who may have been the ruler in pre-dynastic times. Green-skinned and new wrap bandages wins. Isis came and went. May stand corrected that she was the female fertility icon. Always the producer of offsprings from beasts to people were on. During times of the Egyptians dressed in gaudy feathers or perfect hair. A woman, nonetheless. Be it any species, mostly to Osiris. Anubis, god of the dead, head of a jackal. Torn apart, scattered all over. The embalmer and protector of tombs. As the dove of Egypt, he was known. His parts retrieved again after untimely demise, keeper of the Book of Dead. Wherein are recorded those lost to life. Hence the head. There's no need for hair, underdog is there. Decide a superhero outfit to wear. Really, underdog began as a cartoon character. It was too much to bear. Standing up to evil or sinister villain types. We need costumes. Hack around with an alter ego. Most of us have one it assumes. Someone has to be. Relative to where you stand. We can't all be on top. It only forms a letter. Many are at the bottom. One above, there it'll stop. Go on be demonic. An individual closest to our creator. Fashioned to resemble. There can't be two of the same. Only one's greater. As you'd have them treat you care for others. To schedule banging. For good of the rest. It may become best. This could require planning. Brutality seemed to be the Roman way. Incarceration was more a problem. Not till recently has architectural design become what it is to some. Frankly there were no prisons then. So what did they do with criminals? Any turning against authority were dealt as traitors, harshly the originals. A savior of whom Old Testaments prophesied was recognized. Gifted by his creator with the extraordinary power in which he specialized. Known from young age as an apex being with the almighty he quelled the strength. 
Why can he come on any of an animal kingdom heroes at length? To heal the sick and literally raise the dead. A clock dilation or extra dimension. Not stated specifically if time travel it's mentioned. The flare up in the night sky. Brightly glows, intensity slows. It begins to die. The medium through which gravitational waves act. They are particles Y. Fourth force of physics, gravity. Acts on you standing still. That is one. Falling mass exponentially larger every second is fun. Simply stated force is mass times acceleration, gravity exponentially. And for the love of creation why did this happen to begin with, essentially? Cute rhyme relative to time. Correctly stated it's to the speed of light. Taken in opposite it converges upon a point that's right. Get it right. Keep it simple. If we're to reverse a clock to this point, every day the same. Going back where it started we all exploit. More is really bigger, better. Or simply endless repetition. The same theme. Time ends and it begins. Before that point it didn't exist we mean. If it would make healing faster we would have something. Cure them all. The four forces that is. They are the same. They were in the beginning recall. No getting round it. All started in the same place. At least that's flashiness. Though it isn't exactly fact. One would hope happiness. An elusive neutrino, chartless electron on which much existence rests. Subtly theorized, postulated to exist. So much annihilation it besets. It's hard to believe all of existence is a mere remnant. What was left? A misty thing instant where two planes came into contact at best. Moon from Mars, another planet. That could be Phobos if it is a moon. Much new evidence is science fiction straight out of the television cartoon. So no, it was all a mistake. Unfortunately, made of paper. Pasted on the wall. What can you believe? Unfortunately not much of it at all. From space telescope I view. The blackest images are a blazing light. All that is required is enough magnification. As expected it's far from night. Full of galaxies, billions of years old. Logically it exhibits. There seems to have been a beginning. Become distraught at limits. And of course, the end. To say, that of the dinosaurs. Of an era, anyway. Eventually there will be. To mine, your and ours. We can't stay this way. Forever is like infinity. It has no beginning or end. It is, in itself created. Time that is. Converted to mass or energy, debated. Get on with it, this string thing. You notice it is always a notch or half step. Step, another then step and a half. A progression, in music, likely depth. One more dimension added to our existences. Spiritualism it suggests. A grander part of the universe. We live as its guests. Within this generation new awakening to an extent of our visible cosmos. Guess what's to come. Space travel seems fitted best to robotics foremost. Risk to human life such that prices can't be placed on it, at least. Keep it up. Just more run-on endings finally yet to be released. What is said in cosmology? That an accelerated expansion is taking place. Unquestionable dogmas of science upon which we all agree. And so face. Put out as a message. That some might listen. A point unquestionable. From which we originated. All around us. A case that is probable. Our tendency is to become introverted. Unwilling from fear to discuss it. If you have an idea that is unique, come out with it. Exchange ideas that fit. Point of argument may contain validity directed in the wrong manner. Get it across, having some value to everyone. Be a planner. Why we harp on short rhyme is it gets our message across as a banner. Just a meaningful thought without a lot of detail, explanation or chatter. When what you're conveying is how you'd like to become treated, steer it away from hatred, as it will return to you. Do not be cheated. Don't become a cheater, as it too will return to you in full circle. Ultimately we cheat death, gliding through life, observing each hurdle, darkness into light, a tiny particle, an electron which radiations the same. Until ultimately we are caught in a game from which it came. Electron neutrino with one half spin. One negative charge another without. Leptons are a particle group. 
That's atomic physics. What matter is about? Theorized that each has a counterpart or antiparticle. So with an electron. Very difficult to detect. Though it has been done. An electron's charge must be from a nucleus. Quark coupling in the proton. An opposite lepton imparted by a positive nuclon rendering a neutron. So a neutrino gains its negative charge from the proton's coupling. Strong nuclear force at work. With those antiparticles doubling. So this is fun but really dumb. What is out there affecting us we now detect. Seems like filaments of matter surrounded by cosmic void. No photo defect. Bigger picture seems like a membrane or a living tissue. Gas fat the immensity. Those strands are galaxy clusters. And we ask you. An electromagnetic field through which it propagates. A force of physics. The unexplainable dark medium again. It is detectable by gravity critics. That lensing effect we notice as light bends. With nothing seen between. Only the effects, particularly on the atomic week we mean. A nice spiral galaxy like our Milky Way. Hundreds of billions of such structures. Forming an observable universe. Technology improves the pictures. Better telescopes are in the works. Our latest space observations. Improving research pays off with extensive new orbital stations. If for nothing more than inspiration. One likes to voice their own speculation. How long has it been that way? Is it changing? What is our detection? Nothing seems fixed to any given point. Rather in a state of inflation. As a grand totality. Anyway, more than local congregation. Life's a lesson in futility. Reason being we're set limits. Expanding boundary of understanding. It's exiting what vision exhibits. Speculation enthralls us all. How far do you expect to get in your bubble? Our universe is the mind you perceive it with. Sharing insights trouble. We are all strongly self-centered. It's hard to get out. Stand in another's place. See it as they are viewing you. To get along we have to watch our pace. Try and see a world around you from outside your perspective. Though we'll never see it eye to eye. It helps to be respective. If there's more you expect to know. Then perception at least will grow. There's only so much room to share. At least give a little to show. That you do truly care. About everyone else who's out there. Wherever we get in life we all give back in dying, so be cautious and beware, more than you expect it. Life becomes a terrible bore, slow down to look around, there's much to become accomplished, be it your wish it's sound, rearrangement is all we manage, in a manner to sweet us best, we don't create much, it's left to our maker, don't put it to the test, we do, anyway. Colliding atomic nuclei, probing the atomic strong force, how quarks came into being, to form our protons and neutrons or cores, they impart energy in collision, shattering into a multitude of parts, constituents that went into their creation as the atom's hearts. Just can't think of anything to say, how long's it been that way, took a walk around the block, conquer my writer's block, wanted say. Waiting on my car. Trying to get it fixed. That's my problem, all of it. So for another day, I sit, hope and think. It'll go away in a little bit. Some projects aren't worth undertaking. We become slaves to a machine. Look at the kids and watch their mother. It's more human than car, I mean. More of a lasting relationship. They are friends and kin, not typewriters. What has the bloody thing done for me, at those high prices? Impatience a strain it rattles us to survive long waits, just one more day, then another, someone eventually dies. Yes, it can kill you, listen, obey, don't wander off the field getting to your goal. Count the rounds, good may come of it, if you live that long, make it in bounds. If there's nothing left to say, there is also naught to write about, so wizen, less, it keeps your sanity. Following a train of thought out into the horizon. Your fantasy, pursue the dream. Mean what you say, say what you mean. You'll get there. Perhaps not in this lifetime scene. Fifth in yourself, amidst those falling apart. Creatively master your art. I'll do something a bit better than most. Understanding for best part. So everyone do their thing.
what particular skill it may be. Make it a language. Maybe in what you see. Is it different to you than me? What would you pay to live one more day? Most don't give it thought. Only money. What the hell? See you then. That being what is said. Laugh and be comical 24 hours more. Die standing or laying in bed. Think of nice things you bought. You can't spend it when you're dead. Maybe memory is more. We all have one. How many the same? Exactly. No two are identical. Of the same event. They are similar. Abstractly. It is carried somehow. Some is hard programmed heredity. Drop a cat. They always land on their feet. While speech is not, reflex is like that. We'd like but none have total recall. Few are even accurate at instruction. Read only or random access, some's encoded. Another a thought function. It'd be nice to have a built-in hard drive instead of a brain deciding. Except one thing. Infringing on free will ain't too exiting. Unfortunately it's a dodge in a garage. Serpentine green it's seen a pump. Useless part that winds up in a dump. Nothing in the end. Might as well jump. Just bail out of a plane. Break your legs. What the hell? You pick it up. No anyone who wants it. Cost more to fix than sell. Don't hit anything with a car. Like a girlfriend. Can't live with it or without it. That's it I'd quit. Driving I mean. Working for a damn machine. Go on admit. That's why we do it. Status I'd guess. Get there fast. In front of the rest. So all you wanted to do was get fed best. For the fun of writing. Continue a journal. Computers are worse than a car. Not transportation but knowledge. Confounded machine won't get you far. It moves information about at the speed of light. Or very nearly that. Download times vary depending on lengths of date and format. Not a truck. It's a dog. Missed. By golly time you get in your car. And drive to a store. Huh. Man, that's some mayhem. Forget it. Head to a bar. That's earth in modern times. Best go electric situation. Start a chaser. The girl in front of you. Yes, for starters and ignition. Septic systems that no one wants to manage. And then you're put in charge of. A real feel of the great outdoors. Know that's a treatment facility in love. Profession nonetheless. Would not want to dirty your hands with it. So wear gloves, someone's got to do it. A kind that fit. There are things to get rid of which are potentially dangerous to us. Radiation in particular kills living cells in humans. Gam rays are must. High photon energy in nuclear fission. Given off in splitting the nucleus. Neutron star, pulsar, supernova, region of black holes thus. You're not going to get rid of that. It shall surely get rid of you however. Atomic weapons extremely dangerous, contaminated. Should you use never. Providing an ugly end to an unpleasant war. The modern world is frightening. Communicating is our key to survival and enlightening. One could envision life as microbial. But something less than that. From large to smaller specimen we see a proportional format. Were the multiverse a kind of an infinite awareness we exist in with no end. Well as no beginning always changing. Wonderful or frightening may depend. In most ways we're under control, at the mercy of our maker or nature. Humans can't to do much to control the sun. It could be our taker. Without a heavy metal core's magnetic effect radiation would kill us. Upon the Earth's crust, our oceans and atmosphere are precious thus. Dark medium and all the rest. Does it matter? Is it such to start? Questions how titanic structures as these are made and torn apart. New techniques coming about to look at what is coming out before the end. The monolithic monsters inhabiting the centers of our galaxies to begin. For this we need to study effects of a singularity as radiation. It has a nuclear scale which breaks down inside an event horizon. We have a place in the vastness both big and small. Some as our dimension. Outside our own detectable realm may be more. That within the dimension. Carbon dioxide levels have much to do with environment fear. Oxygen and ozone could be controlled but not the magnetosphere. One needs to become centered on our own biosphere, mother, home planet.
Detecting it is one thing, affecting it quite another. In significant ways planet. What adds to knowledge of great value? Even that not affecting us. Gamma ray bursts emitted deep in space. Close enough, deadly as such. Billions of light years away, say. Any such event we view happened long ago. Took light that long to get here. High energy is dangerous though. A funny fellow the photon. All energy you say. It varies in intensities, slow radio through visible light, up to deadly radioactive frequencies. Matter in two energy seems easier than the other way around, since they are described as massless particles, acting as both seems sound. Nuclear reactions produce mega energy. It is done. Now an opposite one, the electron positron pair, ions passing one another near light speeds some. From the electromagnetic cloud surrounding, the ions can interact with each other to create a matter and emitter pair. In fact, we just seem very much better at destroying than creating anything. Destructive tendencies are generally considered bad things to bring, but the derby of physics has brought about new insights into entropy. Not all broken remains that way. Witness the carbon cycle, fundamentally. Memory and thought wave patterns in the brain. The impulses remain. Electroencephalograph, gamma, beta, alpha, theta and delta name, in some more than others, shows where deficiencies remain, the change attractive, measuring them studies show comparisons, ones that are very active. Excitement in science, James Webb Space Telescope ready to get started, all leading up to the fresh first light has turned out positively regarded. Launch deployment, orbit and alignment all worked out as planned. A real marvel of technologic complexity successful to our demand. We'll learn more of our universe's limits, mystery, origin and development. What effects Earth in an observatory at a million miles away? Key element, a deeper understanding, truly, of the total environment that created us. Seeing into our past helps predict futures we may discuss. Eternal life and ultimate goal. Impossible as infinity. Great as is we are mortal. And outlaw death. Conquer the grim reaper. Make immortality normal. Welcome to heaven. To any who aspire. Some have arrived, not forever. Earth is part of the heavens. Surely not all of it, however. Radiation and overpopulation are starters. Clean air and water add. Distribution of resources and shelter priorities. Governments drive us mad. Life as a competition should lessen. Make an equal ground for. Set laws for all of us. Cultural conflict and national borders put war. As anything goes. Problems with our population's social issues at hand. What's going to happen to this planet and our species with nowhere to stand? Literally taking over, modern humans can ruin the earth. Make a plan. We need to combine our faculties. Some things we should ban. Understand the uniqueness of our condition in the surrounding star systems. Another Earth-like planet at sublight speed requiring SPC colony vistas. Not reachable in a lifetime. But possible in an epoch of history. Say more like recorded time in tens of thousands years a mystery. Modern technology hasn't achieved it, may never do so, for now it is here, our own planet the Earth, a way that's clear, keep it so we may grow, that is the prayer, our environment is so vital to us as a species, we need to become one in an understanding and establish treaties, exalt peacemakers and non-polluters who clean up the planet, ones who don't ruin our place, it's hard to understand the enormity, how to plan it. Starting with depletion of our ozone layer and on to global warming. Just a few degrees change has devastating effect their warning. Take time to appreciate nature, creation and how it came into being. Our understanding of it, a bit better as science progresses we are seeing. From complex to simple as a rule. Like forever, never ever say. Nothing lasts forever. A known fact. Everything is susceptible to decay. Do not end up having to burn bridges to your ice your retreat, becoming pursued. Do not become so in the first place. Cause small ripples. Not tsunamis fused. Where effects are catastrophic, you'll become chased. That is certain. All around the world and from behind the Iron Curtain.
Seeing the universe makes one feel obscure. Inflation billions of years ago were insignificant compared to cosmic structures except our ego. Sit, watch and wait. Away we go. Off to a distant galaxy with new instruments. We're achieving the signals they've sent in small increments. Ancient stars may no longer exist. We still encounter light they've sent. A gravitational lensing effect helps detect their initial formation as lights bent. 10 billion light years a long way to go back in time with an old star. So what we see is an event as was then that far. All that it is stretches the imagination because we have limits. We're created. Check your origin. Take a reality count. We began in a singularity it's stated. A mysterious shroud of compactification followed by sudden expansion. That it's a cause or effect known as a reaction. One condition preceding another assumes a context of time before it's made. In initial conditions time is yet to be created. No before or after to state, as it were. Then you and I are mistakes. Fractures in perfection. Slight degree of imbalance that determined us as reflection. Frightening what's here and now. Nothing is in that it is part of the past. The instant it is here everything is gone. Back in time. Future follows to last. Never to be altered except by our own free wills that determine it. Use them wisely because it becomes the destiny we fit. Consequence unalterable but some are. The magnetosphere, our host star. Little we do to influence them. Well they have great effects on us as we are. Cut down a tree, grow a garden. Minimally you've affected nature. On the size scale our most magnificent efforts fail beside her. Atomic power sites danger efficient. Fusing hydrogen to helium by the ton. Splitting nuclei gives heat and radiation. Fusion is the energy of our sun. It seems the safer one. Without lethal radiation given off by reactor fuel. Promoting safe, sustainable energy must be the rule. Freedom of speech, press and thought. Three things to become taught. Hanging on social indifferences that create conflict over property. Got. You own the land and pay the taxes. In real estate that's democracy. We all want freedom that is not a danger to others is what you see. You'd like to stand on your own land, buried in its soil. To be passed on. Longevity, immortal soul you say. At least it's a religious song. So it's what you've chose to believe. If permitted so you are free. Mostly we don't like being told what to think. Less threatening it be. When denied access to vital knowledge such as your own history always rebel. Take away the Bible. Governments might do that. Why communism repel? Laws of Moses and the Ten Commandments. Boil down into new ideas. How would you have them treat you? The wisdom you seek is it true? A class of star having predictable cycles of luminosity varying in diameter. Used as a standard candle in determining expansion rate parameters. Hidden in distant galaxies they are steady as clockwork. So close and far, useful in measuring acceleration from us to where they lurk. Achieving the constant in the present surge our visible universe is under. Proportionality in relation to velocities of galaxies and distances wonder. Difference between observed and actual brightness yield distance. That is how it is determined, the expanding universe as instance. As we live and breathe there is a lot that makes sense on this planet. A minuscule rock with a metal core orbiting a common yellow star for it. Truly we are an exception to the rule, looking for a life as we know it. Nothing out there appears definitively close or attainable admit. Measuring cosmic radiation tells the truth about a non-uniformity. Why we are and how we came to be. If our beginning was in perfection, inform me. It was not. Always, there is inconsistency. The point of creation was imbalance, tipping of the scale, one might say, be that gallant, cosmology, if you like it, understanding the universe, start here on earth, go too far in space you'll never get back, third rocks our place of birth, cracking physics our key to energy future, it's clean, cheap, sustainable, the fusion process must become thoroughly attainable. Of that which is in the realm of our own perception we may theorize. Things outside that perceivable we may only guess. 
It's not testable is why. If a universe of antimatter exists, there is no way to test it. Existing as mathematical construct or in mind games as our only bet. True to scientific method and existence must be proven experimentally. Antimatter has been produced and contained here dimensionally. Initially what happened to it all after particles as we know them were made. Just after a tilt at the beginning of time. Into which it would fade. Close to home our sun. Sometime menacing monster that's unpredictable. Events like this affect surrounding space of inner planets it is notable. Worst ejecta is deflected. It may disrupt many a satellite's worth. Were it not for ozone layer and magnetic core it would fry Earth. Static or stationary a little concern compared to evolutionary time frames. Few million years to mankind. Ratio billions of years to planets remains. Geological and biological development progress differingly. Interdependent in ways, planetary development seems slower specifically. Heavens in other words. Are they fixed or always moving about? In fact they are in motion. For all intents and purposes to us voice only doubt. Effects on us as a species over hundreds of thousands of years. Very little, lights in a night sky. The sun, moon and planets it appears. Verge of some great discoveries, assessing our place in the universe. As individuals counting billions of people on a planet, it seems universe. Still we want to know. Our origin and destiny as life forms evolving. Relate that to problems with our society. Some of it were solving. Really, such a things as eternity. Perhaps not they may as well be. With all falling on a timeline. How far does it extend, straight or bent we see? Does it loop to its origin or keep extending indefinitely? This is where it ends. In a gravity well at a point of infinite density. Hydrogen formed the first stars. They fuse nuclei into heavier elements. Blew apart in supernovae explosions cast into space as developments. Those remnants form nebulas and new star systems like ours. Probably a third generation star. The sun still fusing hydrogen it devours. In the fusion process of hydrogen to helium there's a release of energy. For hydrogen nuclei, 30% mass converted to energy they say. Producing helium there's 5 billion years worth left in the sun. Then it will start fusing heavier nuclei and become a red giant one. Geology of our sun is stable over a long term. More so than the biosphere. Earth's thin layer of atmosphere has an ever-changing content one at fear. Carbon dioxide, oxygen and nitrogen levels vary. Need to be constant. For us to survive in it so it's important become respondent. Fusion reactors hold the key to power problems and atmospheric pollution. Problem in fission is handling and storage of radioactive fuels solution. Set down to business. Get more energy out than you put into it. Containment of superheated plasma. Safer than the radiation, admit. The process of combining nuclei. It's more difficult than splitting them. Occurring naturally within stars. Difficult to replicate on Earth then. Hotter than the center of the sun. A hundred million degrees required. No containers will hold that. Magnetic fields are then desired. About 18 mega electron volts. Released with fusing nuclei the decree. Tritium and deuterium fuse to form helium releasing a neutron and energy. Use current, injection and high frequency waves to do these. As hydrogen to helium, minimum temperature, 100 million degrees. Get magnetic containment hot. Keep injecting fuel so it'll never stop. Ideally a reactor will give out more than it takes to keep running a lot. What it takes to get it going is staggering. Raising to that temperature. Once set in motion it's smooth sailing. No radiation for sure. Place an electromagnetic solenoid in the middle and run off its electricity. A central superconducting conductor run off the plasma current, simplicity. Not that simple. It just sounds that way. To build one it must pay. To return people's investments on it's a big gamble today. Multiverse a strange dispute. Ours is a bubble in an unending cosmic foam. Can it be proven? Not absolutely except through math and what's known. Our minds envision it. But imagination is necessarily reality. Consider all detectable to all that exists as a concept of totality. 
does the maker of it all exist outside creation? Or is the maker all that is, a body of such immense proportions that it is inconceivable it's as, we would not perceive it as mortals, limited in our own beings as insignificant? What is the point? Why try to communicate your want? Always the outside chance that limitless being will hear, sing, give it praise. All around is the proof and evidence. Existence cannot be denied when a race fade to black the dark void. Points of light blinking out to emptiness. There is no solace in death, only non-existence. After life like the multiverse can't become definitely proven to be. How is it testable in relation to science? Do dead affect living like me? In a sense they do because they are memories while you're alive. Relatives and friends all rest in our minds. Deceased, there they thrive. In senses were each a story, played in life. Memory in others as afterlife. Like biology pass on to generations. Genetic code generates other lives. Ones who raised us we remember. If we outlive them, they are memories. In a perceived sense others' memories are life after death. Infinite and eternal assume timelines extending forever, with no curves. Evidence indicates this time had a beginning. What one observes, an act of creation in all that is detectable to us spawning our universe. Time cyclical, not eternal. Ending in singularity is what is worse. The boundary forces in what's perceptible. Extending out indefinitely. With no center or edge. A void into which we're expanding evidently. This array of cosmological confusion makes us want to get down to earth. Where do we stand and how it's affecting us? Terms of net worth. How it enhances our quality of life by understanding. Is it self-centered? Everyone has that perception. The difficulty in standing outside, entered. Objectively one must observe from all perspectives rather than one. The most difficult thing to do. Seeing as others how it's run. When there is consensus it is agreed. It becomes the accepted ideology. Though not absolutely correct there is agreement, be it science or theology. A body of knowledge defined as religion, faith and belief in logic, truth more than anything. Many have died for it as psychologic. Questions about the accuracy of written history, fact or inaccurate quests. Anyone can make prediction that it comes through as a realm of fate you express. Accurate ones become saved, while others are simply discarded. So do prophecies become kept and created. It is thus regarded. Should ideas of nuclear fusion be scalable to fit in a lug box? Prototype generating 5 kilowatts. Great potential that unlocks. It's in the works. Problems as usual. Getting more energy out than takes to start. Still running a superheated plasma in magnetic fields at heart. Designed to run an entire city and not a golf cart. The project underway. More for personal use than to feed a power grid. Smell reactor you'd say. Unbelievable projects are staggering. Compacting is the answer. Truly if it is possible. Sounds too good to be true. The chance here. Marriage between small fusion generators and electric motors is possible. Weight being a problem with batteries, generators would be unstoppable. In exchange that would increase the range to near indefinitely. Weight of the fuel, hydrogen would become kept minimal and separately. If you could, imagine this roadster with range that is nearly indefinite. Never having to recharge it. Carrying light fuel. No sound to deafen us. With flying vehicle what's weighing us down. Portable fusion generators heavy. Probably greatly outweighs the batteries already. Scale up or down. Principle a central solenoid drawing electric current from a circulating superheated plasma magnetically contained in it if you'd put it in a car that'd be nice it's not so simple for this device magnets shielding central core are heavy metals suffice writing saves memory otherwise lost to recall why we record thought through artistic expression our sentiment becomes words we saw wants and desire are inherent in us all for basic need and luxury Extravagance excluded, we desire awareness, toward another heartbeat hurry. Initial plasma confinement witnessed in 1950s Estelle Ritter. 
a series of magnetic coils surrounding a plasma surface accelerator. Successful containment of superheated atomic fusion is the comment. A field line highlights this flow as it twists through the confinement. The helically symmetric experiment, droid shaped pressure vessel. This proceeded to commit design. Princeton plasma physics began to settle. The first working device of its kind. Completed at the Max Planck Institute. In Greifswald, Germany, 2015, that reconstitutes. Worry over clean energy to save the environment, lower contamination. Mankind needs to reduce its carbon dioxide and greenhouse gas emission. It all adds up to global warming. That may become catastrophic. Enough to melt our polar ice caps and raise sea levels. That's the topic. Radiation, another concern. That which is lethal needs to be abandoned. Depletion of the ozone layer affects detrimental ways the sun is landed. Give it our thought. The future is at hand. How long until tomorrow? Clean environment in ways it won't ruin the biosphere and sorrow. Fusion engine technology based on an inductive plasmoid accelerator. It theoretically works injecting plasma, compressing it to fusion later, expanding it and directly recovering energy to produce electricity. As opposed to a circular ring the pulse method has received publicity. Replicating processes inside our sun here on Earth is no easy task. Rather than intense pressure extreme heat is required. Why bring it to Earth you ask? Because the fission process is dangerous. Core meltdowns occurred. Radioactive contamination over widespread areas you've heard. Wake up one morning looking out a window. Major catastrophe in progress. The danger of nuclear fission power plants. Meltdown accidents suggest. Occur when heat generated by a nuclear reactor exceeds the heat removed. Cooling systems fail. And one or more rods melt, it is proved. Vision the future, flash falcon, concept plane. To run on carbon-free energy. Could power up a supersonic engine on portable fusion reactors we see. That would require some exotic materials yet to be invented. The problem of weight and containment of plasma is doubtful as intended. Pulse fusion using lasers to detonate fuel creating plasma bursts might fly. Containment methods using solenoid and magnets are too heavy is why. A supersonic, electrically powered aircraft is not impossible to make. Electricity generated by nuclear fusion certainly is not fake. Actual jet engine using fission fusion propulsion. Lasers ignite fusion fuel. A power source causing push. Fission reaction driving a turbine dual. Implemented, tested it's been built. Liquid hydrogen burning. There is no need to contain the plasma. Released in thrust so turning. Triggering nuclear strong force holding nuclei together to split or combine. Both releasing energy. Fission breaks them. Fusion force them together sometime. It involves a lot of heat. One is given off. The other is added. To force interactions heavy or light nuclei are demanded. So quark triplets composing protons or neutrons attract and repel. Two up one down make a positively charged one. Neutrons one up, two down, tell. The strong binding power in a nucleus suggests force of attraction. Reason it's hard to bring them together or split with any action. Similar attraction comprising nucleonic particles binds them in a nucleus. Fusion forming heavy elements granted, requires extreme pressure, thrust, great pressure and heat combinations there form big nuclei. Energy holding them together is released when split apart don't deny. That a strong nuclear bonds same as those of the quarks is arguable. Bonding nuclei seem similar. Compared to what quark triplets comprise it's suitable. Nuclei smashed into parts, protons and neutrons broken into quarks. Both generally classified as strong nuclear force parts. Glins bind quarks together forming hadrons such as protons and neutrons. It's analogous to exchange of photons and electromagnetic forces on. A strong nuclear force binds these together inside the nuclins. Mediated by glins carrying the color and the color charge through the ions. Seemingly more fundamental than atoms and nuclins are the quarks. Existing in six types they carry a fractional electric charge as marks. Up, down, charm, strange, top and bottom all decay. Except at high energies. 
turning to up and down under normal circumstance. However, these glins are vector gauge bosons that mediate strong interactions. In quantum chromodynamics, glins carry color charge reactions. Unlike the photon which mediates the electromagnetic interaction again, while similar they are not alike, both are described as massless particles then, an electrically conducting medium with an equal of charged particles, produced as atoms in a gas become ionized, fourth state of matter the obstacles, plasma then, in physics, are nuclei stripped of their electrons typically existing in stars contained under gravity as this was. The colored quarks and bosons exchange charge to determine the nucleon, protons into neutrons and back again, determined by that force carrying one. Quarks remaining up or down determined by the charge imparted, binding up the nucleus are vectors. That is how our universe started. History of the universe's origin and fate enhances our understanding. Many new insights of late, seemingly identical structures expanding. View through lensing backgrounds seem to spread in an arch behind that in front. Light bending round a foreground. Similarities we hunt. Heavy deionized nuclei are racing around and accelerating. Pushed by superconducting magnets. Near to speed of light they bring. Detectors set to pick up the pieces when they shatter in collisions. Revealing some secrets of the nuclear strong force. The physicists' decisions. Random fission events occur in nature, few and far between, difficult to observe. That's why we go to the trouble and expense to build science tools we deserve, to control the events and study them, toward a deeper understanding. An aim is to unify it into one theory so handling what comes out of this particles who are ingredients, easy to break apart, more difficult to bring together. But once we know what they are, we may start. Carbon is a good thing to build on. Graphene layers bonded with a composite. Creation of exotic materials design structures fit. Breaking nuclei with fission is easier than bonding them with fusion. Similar, both processes give off protons and release energy no confusion. Converted to heat and electricity. These are keys to our energy problem. Transportation, manufacturing or climate controls at the bottom. The stellarator is bringing plasma power to Earth. It may be first sustaining it, powered up, it could run indefinitely with fuel easily obtainable to get. A cousin to Kamak has more coagulation but prone to less consistency. Run times are getting better with the twisted energy, raising elements to over a hundred million degrees, then keeping them there. The temperature required in fusion reactions, heat or pressure to bear. Gravity would suffice, say in our sun. Even the core of our planet would not have it. Compression must be offset with heat you bet. The temperatures hotter than the center of some stars behave. Microwaves assist it. Initiated fuse nuclei produce a wave of heat that is more energy, more heat until the process sustains itself, turning on its own electric field which has to be stable. It is energy wealth. Can the same thing exist in two places? In a mirror they do. A copy of me, is it real? Drop dead, your reflection will do. So it is with quantum entanglement, a split that results into particles, each having an opposite spin. Change one and the other follows with no obstacles. It is not a reflection. It violates light speed in that it is instantaneous. Your reflection, not quite. Light has to travel from you to it, a must. Yet it has been proven to exist, seems to imply the transfer of information, direction, at any rate, up, down, on, off, one or none. In the case of entangled particles changes are simultaneous, no matter how they are separated spatially by distance it's continuous, and instant, suggesting a tunneling effect in the space-time continuum. Quantum computing principle used to replace electric currents continuance. Relying on superposition of pairs rather than exponential streams of qubits. Information streaming is not confined to limits that electricity gets. It is analogous to sending long Morse code messages by wire. To spontaneously understanding thoughts through telepathy, only higher. Telepathy may be a form of entanglement. Neurological similarity seen. Reading thought is a local phenomenon. 
Intuition is insight to others' being. Instantaneous transfer of information is quantum computing. Unlimited speed, freed of transference to mechanical motion it's using. Interference in light is lessened with lasers. Electrons as well, exhibit it. The particle wave scattering phenomenon. Radio and light are photons emit. At varying wavelengths, a resistant medium or field is resistance, so too is a conductor for electrons. In metal for instance, unlimited by resistance, superconducting, brought about by cryogenics. It greatly reduces current required to power any system it mimics. Superposition, interference and entanglement are enhanced quantum states. Essentially the essence of quantum computing, to what this relates. Weather prediction to fabricating exotic material without manufacturing. Things requiring variables on an atomic level or immense data capturing. Set containing every subatomic particle in a system's staggering. Classical computers cannot handle it. Atoms in an ocean scattering. A transporter moving information instantaneously to new position. Then it is you as a reflection. Reverse polarity, an opposite situation. Turn the spin, you see. You become a reflection. That reflection is me. Effectively you have changed superposition or space-time information. That is information, not matter. Reassembling every atom in your body. Problem being the enormity of that description. Unhindered then copy. Nearly inconceivable, very improbable. Reality is then unstoppable. You just wish to be in another place then. Yet not entirely impossible. Absurdity is in the data set. 7 followed by 27 zeros. Get that. Start counting slowly. Even at the speed of light, it's slow. Get where I'm at. A tunneling effect has been accomplished with individual particles. Small atomic structures have been entangled in articles. A human body containing 7 octillion individual atoms position. Move them all at once to some new location is the situation. To transfer that much information electronically would take a long time. Split them all at once and establish a superposition for this body of mine. Quantum computers use a thing called a superconducting transmembrane, made of niobium and aluminum, patterned on a silicon substrate to fit. For a superconducting bit to behave as an abstract notion, we must have the device at drastically low temperatures. That is a solution. Most of the bulk of a computer is in that cooling system, size of a car. So these are not readily portable. Shielded in orbit from our host star. Cold as it can get in outer space. No cooling devices are required. A relatively light package to launch. From Mars missions inspired. Something more advanced than an entire data center size of a desktop. Cancel a bulky refrigerating unit by putting it in orbits which don't stop. Communicate electronically with processors operating instantly. What is cheaper, lock hardware or building refrigerators incessantly? In orbit shielded from the heat would be small quantum computers. Used for their processing strength. Cooled to their operating temperatures. In the vacuum outside of our atmosphere. Temperatures near absolute zero. QBIDS need to be colder still. Kept at near zero Kelvin, or so. It would still require cooling down. We're replicating temperatures on Earth. Minus 273 Celsius to plus 100 million worth. What point is there doing this on the dark side of the moon? To start it's already nearly that cold. For now why go there soon? Nearly, but not absolute zero. James Webb Telescope's cryocooler witness. Even with sun shielding and additional cryogenic devices needed for this. Actually minus 273 degrees Celsius is zero Kelvin, or absolute zero, cold as it can get, undertakings well on, so some hands on maintaining may be required, to keep it that cold long, expensive and not infallible, it has a long way to go, in space it's long gone, you can't go up to fix the thing, parts are prone to mechanical failure. Zero Kelvin being hard to sustain, difficult behavior. Mid-infrared instruments on Webb Telescope requires temperature of zero. That is Kelvin or minus 273 degrees Celsius though. So no, even in deep space it requires additional cooling. 
Maybe it is best kept here on Earth, where it is easier to fix, no fooling. Large scale there is nothing you or I could use it for. Small version perhaps. High-end devices could replace data centers, covering conventional gaps. Simple answers to complex problems require quantum computing. Industries interested in step-saving and cost-cutting are rooting. Complex formulas, multiple variables and mind-boggling data sets. Cut to the chase. So find the most direct routes that shipping lets. That's cost-cutting and time-saving. Get it all done in one trip. Don't run in circles. Make one circle accomplishing it all. Bypass the hurdles. The Kelvin scale is an absolute thermodynamic temperature scale, meaning it uses absolute zero as its null point. 3 degrees hail. The average temperature of our visible universe, 2.73. Although very close, achieving that has not been an accomplished degree. There seems a barrier, like light, in moving matter to an absolute. At a temperature of liquid helium, superconductors sweep. Minus 243 degrees Celsius is where there's no resistance. And niobium used in quantum computers requires 18 Kelvin for instance. At which point there is no resistance or additional power required. To run the system at this temperature, the cryogenic device is hired. That takes more current. But not as much as a conventional data center might. So the processing power of quantum computing is coming to light. Aluminum is superconducting at below 2 Kelvin. At 1.75 degrees the light gray metals heaven. So you have a system that's instantaneous with very little resistance. The problem being to lower it to its critical point the electron flows unrestricted as instance. Big booms in nuclear fusion and supercomputing are coming about. Astronomy with space telescopes is beginning a new era no doubt. From macro to micro, the universe coming into focus more so than ever. Keep looking to the future. With faith in what you believe, you may be there. Now this is prolific. A setting off planet. Why risk your life send robots? For the trouble it's worth. I'd rather stay on Earth. Be my own boss. Conditions are going to be extremely hazardous without a habitat. Prefabricated modules or a ship. How would you plan to inhabit that? A nano machine so small it takes an electron microscope to examine. Fantasy for now, of course. Assembling these layers of atoms. The plan in scanning tunneling microscopes do it to some extent. More in single layers. Nothing this detailed yet. Used to study electronic behaviors. When life becomes too erratic we become hypnotized in our thinking. It's sometimes the only way to avoid distraction from beginning. So go with it and become mesmerized. If it gets you through one more day. Oblivious to misleading stimulus from all around us. Make the moment pay. Graphene, a two-dimensional carbon allotrope, is composed of carbon. Atoms positioned in a hexagonal resemble a chicken wire straight on. A single layer of carbon atoms arranged in such a honeycomb structure. This is the same type of bonding seen in carbon nanotubes, as it were. Channeling insulators composed of single layers of carbon atoms. Used as electrodes for chemical and biological sensing applications. The nanotubes create networks within the composite material for instance. To increase stiffness and material damping by offering great resistance. Strong interaction or strong nuclear forces fundamental interaction. Confining quarks into proton, neutron, and other hadron reaction. The strong interaction also binds neutrons and protons to create atomic nuclei. It's a nuclear force, on it gas of a proton or neutron rely. The effectiveness of weak interaction is confined to a distance range. 10 to minus 17 meters, 1% of what atomic nuclei may range. It's radioactive decay. The strength of the weak interaction. 100 THROUSANGTH The strength of electromagnetic force is action. The weak interaction acts upon left-handed elementary particles half-integer values with intrinsic spin, and right-handed antifermion obstacles. They interact in weak interactions by exchanging the force-carrying bosons. Their heaviness defines the extremely short-range reasons. Like gravity, the electromagnetic force has an infinite range. It obeys an inverse square law. 
electromagnetic force is weaker change than strong nuclear force but stronger than the weak force and gravity. A four force is the third strongest, not quite what binds a nucleus we see. Gravity the universal force of attraction acting between all matter. It is by far the weakest known force in nature. No role in the letter. Its long reach and universal action, it controls trajectories. Newton's theory of gravitational force held sway from his Principia Reveries. Muons are predominantly into an electron and a pair of neutrinos. Photons may be irradiated by one particle involved in the process it knows. 200 times the mass of an electron so. They are a cosmic ray. One hits every square centimeter of this planet each minute all day. Cosmic rays, high energy protons. Atomic nuclei that move through space. At nearly the speed of light. They originate from our sun, one place. And from outside the solar system from distant galaxies. The rays collide with particles in the atmosphere to produce fragments you see. A weak force acts only across distances smaller than an atomic nucleus. While the electromagnetic force can extend to great distances for us. Magnetism, stronger than that of the electron. Gravity, weakest of the four. Decay of cosmic rays is next to the last strongest only more. A muon is an elementary particle similar to an electron. Charge minus one, spin half and greater mass, classified lepton. It's not thought to be composed of particles. Two microseconds it lasts, at its juncture. As others, it's not known to have any kind of simpler substructure. Muon decay almost always produces at least three particulates then. Including an electron, the same charge that the muon has been. And two types of neutrinos, the electron antineutrino and a muon neutrino. For only 2.2 nanoseconds it lasts. Long for a particle, we know. 5 to minus 44 seconds. Planck time scale the smallest increment. 22 nanoseconds about 4 to the 40th of that implement. A T H O U S A N D T H of a second seems brief. Measurable but not too averse. If that small measurement were a second. Older than the universe. That a fifth force in physics is working seems probable only and detectable. Max Planck's parameters are well established. Peter Higgs very expectable. Proven in fact. Created and observed it is uncovered. An electromagnetic field and a boson working in it having been discovered. Expansion of the universe, dark matter and energy. Inferred by observation. Still not perceptible, the underlying substances behind this operation. That constant suggested by Edwin Hubble doesn't seem to be uniform. Derived through observation but not tied to any particles born. Limited by mortality. We lean on inference, in an unproven assumption. Observation is one thing. Cause and effect underlying it, a deduction. Still it isn't scientific proof. May never be. Simply outside of our realm then. Constituting dark matter and energy. We may never know them. Boundary limits setting an edge to our universe. Restrictions of humanity. Mean you're a creation not made to see. Imaginations as it be. That which goes on forever. Variation of individuals wide to each. Seem to go on indefinitely. It's not infinite. Point being you can't reach. Grasp at what is tangible. Not everything is. Much hinges on faith. It provides a comfort. Belief in an all-knowing awareness. This is a case. There are recurring histories from which we learn the rest. Behind us the past. It is clear. Ahead's the future. Of it we may only guess. We sense time travel observing. Knowing light from the sun takes minutes. The stars take years. The naked eye wonders at celestial bodies visits. Comets and objects like the moon. Wandering in the dark of night. And stationary daytime objects as well. Rising and setting in delight. Taking for granted in setting they return. With every glimpse we learn. Predicting their course and plotting the orbits. Navigational skills we earn. Naked eye astronomy tells north from south. Sunsets to west. Rising in the east. And an orientated sundial is a compass at best. Efforts at understanding seem dismal. Effecting our point in space impossible. Stick to making Earth a better place. 
At light speed stars aren't reachable. You'll not get to another Earth in any human lifetime. There aren't any. Life is in common. An exception rather than many. Regional overpopulation clan instinct that keeps us grouped together. No man's an island. There wouldn't be enough to cover the planet ever. Humans are very individualistic come to a species. One may expect. Individual survivalists give it a go but groups fare better I suspect. Working on your favorite hobbies. Never fail to brighten a day. Especially when you're stuck in the same old rut. Can't think what to say. Start making a plan. In the beneficiary. Got enough life insurance. Everyone on board got a free policy with their ticket. A real assurance. Everything good is immoral, illegal or fattening. Outlaw having fun. That'll be next. Or it's too expensive. Matter of time before it is done. Can't burn your cash. Destroy government property or legal tender. Next time you enjoy the great outdoors. Stay off private land remember. Don't come over angry or threatening. That dished out comes back to you. Pass it out, expect it in return. Luck happens when least expected to. Plant some kindness and it may grow to become a multitude of blessings. Simply stated you cannot reap what you didn't sow in settings. Settling cars out with the old and in with the new. The Tesla Type 2. Electric rechargeable sedan. No exhaust or emissions. Glide on through. Getting competitively priced with a more conventional vehicle. Hondas and Toyotas that aren't hybrids. Pull your purse strings a little. More than a hundred years of driving. A few antiques are still on the road. Rare and not used for transportation. Collectible cars, stored or showed. Fun is getting the feel of a century of driving. It's come quite a ways. Making the affordable standard like in the good old days. Are there any life signs? Are they reachable or detectable? Observable at least. Outside our solar system is dubious but acceptable. That is to say, it is unreachable. Within, it may be, robotically at least, that mankind may conquer interstellar distance is skeptically incomplete, scaled down exhibited in virtual reality. Computer simulation is possible. In minds or imagination we time travel. Physically it is doubtable. Peculiarities surrounding singularities refer to possible time dilation. Orbits of planets can't be undone, or change the sun's location. Quite beyond human capabilities, imitations could be constructed. Visualization, what it is, that reality is a simulation we've deducted. Knowing conditions, parameters and ingredients, just make it up. Put it all into supercomputers, wearing three-dimensional glasses as struck. Matter transport faster than light. Not by current understanding of atoms. At near light speed there are some protons. A superposition one fathoms. Information perhaps may. Not solid objects. Electrons and the speed of photons. Perplexing as it seems. Massless particle suggests. Once created matter or antimatter are set. They don't readily transform. Limited by the speed of photons. Energy only in quantum amounts form. Energy travels faster than anything defined as particles, has no mass, weight at any rate, times variable, instants short and long pass. Cosmic and gamma radiation, one's high energy protons, the other a photon, defined by short wavelength of a massless quantity of radiation it is on. High energy particles of intrinsic mass are cosmic rays here. Protons, charged particles in solar storms interacting with atmosphere. Bound together into a particle. Helium nuclei, what a cosmic ray was. Alpha ray or alpha radiation consists of two protons and two neutrons. Emitted by substances undergoing radioactive decay like arsenals. They are higher energy. Ionizing radiation, consisting of alpha particles. Electrons and positrons are emitted in beta decay. Producing a beta ray. Beta particles have range of one meter and are dependent on energy C. Higher ionizing effect, the greater damage to living tissue. Also lowering penetrating power of radiation. It is a less dangerous issue. Gamma rays are the most harmful hazard. Damaging cells in their path. Beta particles partially penetrate skin causing burns, alas. 
Alpha particles cannot penetrate the skin. Gamma can pass through a person. Gamma rays are millions of times more energetic than light is the reason. Breaking strong nuclear force results in radiation, combining or splitting nuclei. The danger is in extremely high energy photons. Neutron radiation is why. Typical phenomena are nuclear fission or fusion release. Neutrons reacting with nuclei triggering radiation, piece by. Toward a deeper understanding of physics behind the vacuum of space. The interstellar medium, if you wish. Extending field for electromagnetic radiation. Light, electrons and nucleonic particles perpetrate this void. Filled with dust, micrometeorites and deadly radiation to avoid. Alpha, beta, gamma and X-rays are all variations in quantum of energy. Photonic variables of different intensities, including light and radio these. Infrared and ultraviolet, the released energy in electronic orbitals. Then formulas for the strong and weak nuclear forces it tells. Energies travel at the speed of light because they are variations of it. Elements of photons at different wavelengths as intensities they get. The nature of radiation released from atoms strong or weak actions. Traveling in electromagnetic fields affected slightly by gravity. Postulate the origin of our visible universe was energy void of time and matter. Compacted singularity, released in expansion creating a dimensional ladder, that from which arose another dimension, so it is, where it all goes, from one universe to another, undetectable, it says, effects of gravity on light we see, lensing the curvature of space-time, the world of astronomy, beyond that nothing has perspective or rhyme, whatever the formula, it's another unknown. To mortals it's an exception, yet we try to understand what's outside our realm of perception. Don't worry about consequences of what you're doing. Effects on the future. Makes us nervous to think we're only simulations on a giant computer. This movie is pictures imputed to memory, not anything flesh and blood. Mechanics of biology is prone to failure. Entropy is in love. Remorse over truth nothing's eternal. Don't drown in your tears. Worst comes to worst our sun will be round another few billion years. That the Earth's slipping out of orbit's unlikely. Magnetic core or mantle yes. That may be a concern. Asteroids from space are anyone's guess. Life will go on. Though in the vastness of space it may be out of grasp. The other side of our galaxy just is not physically reachable perhaps. What you glimpse from Earth was a hundred thousand years ago. For light to reach us. Longer than recorded history of a few thousand or so. Evolution through genetic mutation due to radiation and natural selection. We could all use a spare hand. Is it too much to stand a correction? Then it becomes a problem where you do not fit in. That's your group or clan. They are all alike. Eight arms was an accident not a plan. Simply stated it'd fit into one environment but not another one. Where it leverages advantage it becomes an asset. Modification has begun. Science may even plan it that way. Give us a bigger brain. Stronger, more durable bodies. More likely to come about than controlling the rain. One work here. Life is eternal. Though perhaps not constant. Add faith and understanding. Each in his own way. Be respondent. Stick to methods that are testable. No point wandering blind in the dark. Light is in enlightenment. Even agreement is fallible. We all may miss our mark.